Hi, I'm Dr. Malcolm Godfrey, an obstetrician, gynaecologist and infertility specialist with IVF Australia. Today I'm going to talk about what is an IVF cycle and ovarian stimulation. So IVF is a process where we take control of a woman's menstrual cycle to try and increase the chance of collecting as many eggs um, to then go on and fertilise with a partner's sperm to increase the chances of someone falling pregnant. So there's lots of different protocols during an IVF cycle, but a common protocol is what's called an antagonist cycle. So women, if they're not having a period, will sometimes go on to the contraceptive pill um, and then when they come off the, the pill, they have a withdrawal bleed or if they're in a natural cycle, um, day one of their period is considered day one of the cycle. So we know that every month in a normal menstrual cycle, there's about 15 to 20 eggs that the body recruits from the ovaries. And usually after about three or four days, the body has selected one of those follicles to go on and ovulate in a, in a natural cycle. And IVF tries to uh, rescue those 15 or 20 follicles um, so we can grow all those eggs uh, to the point where we can collect 15, ho hopefully, about 15 eggs to be fertilised later on. So throughout the cycle, women will start uh, daily injections of FSH, which is called follicle stimulating hormone. And then after a few days into the cycle, they will start the uh, injection called a, a gonadotrophin antagonist. And what that does is it helps take control of the hormones um, in the women's cycle and stops any premature ovulation. Throughout the cycle, your ovaries will be monitored by a sonographer. So that is someone who scans the ovaries, tracking how many follicles are developing. And the nurses will be there instructing you on how to uh, take your medications and having a few blood tests so we can keep track of your hormones and make sure you're getting the appropriate dose of your medications. There's uh, certain protocols that we follow and it'll get to the point where you have an adequate number of follicles that are growing and maturing and 36 hours before uh, that we arrange for an egg collection, uh, the nurses will instruct you the, on how to have a trigger, which is the final step in the maturation process for the egg development in the, in the ovaries. An egg collection is something that's usually done in theatre or sometimes done under sedation as an outpatient. Uh, and that's when we use a transvaginal probe with um, a really fine needle on the end of it. Um, so we can visualise the follicles in the ovaries and uh, collect, collect the eggs on the day. On the, same, on the same day, your partner usually gives a sperm sample and those eggs are then incubated with the sperm. Uh, and then the following day, I check to see which eggs have been fertilized appropriately and, and are there any embryos developing. And usually after about five days, there'll be a certain number of embryos that are developed and, and then we select the, the highest quality embryos to have an embryo transfer. And that's usually quite a simple process uh, done awake as an outpatient where a little catheter is inserted into the uterus and that embryo is inserted or done on video so you can watch the whole process with your partner happening at the same time. And then a pregnancy test uh, is done in the next couple of weeks to see if you're, you've uh, fallen pregnant. That all, that's always the hardest wait, so it's good to uh, keep yourself busy and look after yourself in that process um, and hopefully you get a nice positive outcome. So thanks for watching Fertile Minds. For all things infertility, please subscribe to our channel.